An actuator is the component of a valve that actuates or moves a valve open or closed. In this video, we're going to discuss what factors to consider when selecting an electric valve actuator. Let's look at three electric actuators and compare their features to help you decide which is appropriate for your operation. Valvecon ADC series, Tritex, and the new Kimray electric actuator. Electric actuators fall into two categories based on their motion, rotary or linear. There are not many true advantages or disadvantages to either category, but rather different ways the internal components and mechanisms operate. The Valvecon is a rotary actuator and requires an adapter to convert the rotary motion to a linear motion like on a high pressure control valve stem. It's ideal for most applications with one to two inch valves. The Tritex is a linear actuator and actuates in a straight line up and down. However, it also requires a mounting kit that comes in various sizes depending on your valve body. It is available for all Kimray high pressure control valves from one to four inch and can be used on some six inch and larger valves. The Kimray electric actuator is a linear actuator, meaning you can install it directly on a linear globe valve like the Kimray high pressure control valve body and the motion will occur along a straight line. There is no adapter or mount needed and it works on all control valve bodies from one to 10 inch and is simplified to four options to choose from solely based on the valve body connection size. The Valvecon has universal voltage and can use 12 to 48 volt DC or 120 to 24 volt AC. It has a lithium ion battery backup. The Tritex operates on 12 to 48 volt DC and does not have a battery backup. If there is a loss of power, it will fail in place. However, it has fail safe positioning and if a low bus voltage limit is reached or loss of signal is detected, it will move to a desired set point position. The Kimray electric actuator operates on 12 to 24 volts and is equipped with a lithium ion battery backup, which requires a minimum of 16 volts to charge. If you're using 12 volts, the battery backup will not be applied. The Valvecon features 13 second actuation, fully closed to fully open. The Tritex is capable of being adjusted for up to five inches per second of linear stem travel. This is ideal for applications where actuation speed is crucial, but this kind of speed is never used specifically for oil and gas applications. The Kimray electric actuator has actuation speeds of up to half inch per second, providing accurate control of both liquid and gas applications. Larger size valves have more volume, resulting in more pressure on the seat and requiring a higher maximum thrust force. The Valvecon maximum thrust force is 600 pounds per foot and with the Kimray R2L adapter can reach 1200. The Tritex maximum thrust force is 1700 pounds per foot the Kimray electric actuator has a maximum thrust force of 3,200 pounds per foot, making it the best option for larger valves and production volumes. The Valvecon carries a Class 1 Div 1 explosion proof rating, basically meaning that it is designed to work in areas where ignitable concentrations of flammable gases, vapors, or liquids are likely to exist under normal operation conditions. The Tritex has a Class 1 Div 2 rating. The Div 2 rating means that those gases, vapors, or liquids are not likely to exist under normal operation conditions. Kimray's electric actuator carries a Class 1 Div 1 explosion proof rating. Regarding user interface, the Valvecon features a user interface board with simple controls. Everything is labeled right on the board and there is no computer programming involved. The Tritex requires a computer to program, which adds a level of complexity and specialized training to set up, but also gives the user more custom controls. One of the great features of the Kimray electric actuator is the push button OLED screen, which allows quick setup and calibration. It can be calibrated on a two inch valve body in approximately 35 seconds. These three actuators have differential limitations and cycle frequency considerations as well. The Valvecon lifespan under a large pressure differential and high cycle frequency is very low. The Tritex can stand up under a large pressure differential. However, it pulls a lot of amperage, meaning solar power could be an issue in certain regions. 
The Kimray Electric Actuator has overcome these challenges because it is built with durable components designed specifically for the modern oil field and because it only requires 5 amps. A couple of additional features to consider are temperature control and blockage control. Both the ValveCon and Kimray Electric Actuator feature an onboard heater for use in the event of extreme cold weather as well as humidity control. In the event of blockage in the bottom works, the Kimray Electric Actuator will increase the pressure and time between actuation to try and clear the blockage, and both of these settings can be adjusted via the user interface. To speak with an expert about the right actuator for your operation, contact your local Kimray rep.